Hey guys, Mina Wahab here with Red Carpet Report in Hollywood at the premiere of The Vanishing of Sydney Hall. Good, good. How are, right. you, how are you feeling about your movie right now? Terrible. Just terrible. Man. Awful? It's great. I love the arc light. It's really one of my favorite uh, venues, so to have a premiere here is pretty special for me. Uh, I don't live in LA, so, you know, maybe people have premieres at Arclight all the time, of course, but uh, it's my first. So, uh, so it's, a special, it's a special moment. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, talk to me a little bit about what went into directing this film and how you put in elements to illustrate the vanishing of Sydney Hall's personality, not just the physical vanishing. Well, we shot it one era at a time. So we're, when you're doing that, you're in that, and that's it. Uh, and then we plan to do a changeover to the era like a weekend. Um, and I'd say the big punch that we had to roll with was we couldn't wait the weekend to change. So essentially, uh, uh, Logan had to be 18 in the morning and then 24 in the night. So he had to do a, like a haircut and a whole thing, and he had to be a whole different person. Uh, and that was a bit of a struggle. Um, but, but that was going into it, it was we'll do it kind of in order, 18 and then 24 and then 30 and and that's how we shot it and we shot the 30 year old segment in Albuquerque and Santa Fe in New Mexico and it was really just a blast you know um, so directing it was starts with you know sh how are you going to shoot three different periods with what kind of lenses and that stuff and then it gets into the actors and rehearsing with them as much as I can on a tight schedule um, but it's about people trusting each other and uh, it's also about having a cast like this that's a, cla a class act across the board. Is there any one thing that surprised you in terms of performance from any of the cast members? Like one thing that stood out to you the most? Well, I was never, I can't say I was surprised uh, because everyone in the cast, they're all great actors. Um, I would say that Logan's performance is an older, when he's older, I thought was things I've never seen him, him do. And I loved to be part of that, to see him finding that side. Sometimes when you have on, when you're in a makeup trailer for three hours, it can change you, you know? And I thought he was tremendous. And I think um, Yaya, who plays the English teacher, was a great discovery, because I didn't know who he was before we shot. And uh, he was cast two days before we started shooting. And I thought he was probably the great discovery. Um, but everyone else was as advertised, you know, Elle Fanning and Nathan Lane and Kyle and Michelle Mont. I mean, they're all just um, really just fantastic actors, you know. What's it like for you when you watch all the hard work you put into this and all the hard work everyone did as a collaboration come together on screen? I see only the flaws, really. I just see, oh, that didn't, oh, ooh, that's, well, I, you know, that's what I see, you know. I. The thing that keeps me involved is the, uh, the performances and then everything else I feel like is stuff that I wish I, you know, whatever. I just see the flaws, honestly. And I'm a chronic pessimist, so that's just where that Notes for from. next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations and so excited to see this. Nice to, nice to meet you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe for some more awesome videos. And don't forget to let us know in the comments section what your favorite hiding spot is.